Whoa. Whoa. Good morning, everybody, Good morning. everyone. <laughs> Good morning. I have no idea Happy what we're doing. Monday. That was just a crazy. Like we have a collection of vintage masks, and we do. We have they a came bunch out of, of the them. closet that we so we thought we might as well. The masks are <laughs> out of the closet. With them. Careful there. <laughs> Hope and we didn't scare you. It's sort of in theme, right? Because we're doing the um, we're doing the uh, the Scooby Doo Mystery Mansion. Yeah, today. and everyone is always behind a really bad rubber mask, right? right exactly. The, the so it's kind of perfect. Not to give away every episode of Scooby Doo, you know, all at once. <laughs> But and I also, always someone in a mess. I also wanted to to apologize that we're not uh -oh. we're not doing a how to today only because um, it just like it snuck up on us a yep. little bit. And well, we yeah. want to do it well. And if we're gonna talk about how to do something, you know, there should be real information there. And we we had some ideas last minute and could have thrown something together. But I think instead we're gonna build this mansion. We right? are gonna build this mansion. And we'll have other how tos that we can actually you know prepare examples. And apologies, of I'm doing a little behind the scenes uh -oh, right two now. Two apologies in. Three minutes. There we go. Hey, look, we're normal color now. Oh, look at that. There we go. Right, we look Sorry. so much we better. We were washed out. Right. It was the it was the mask. I thought it was the mask. Yeah, we're, but it was we're not my face. <laughs> so, okay. So, any of you who are who follow me on Facebook or friends on or my friends on Facebook, yeah, know that I am. And yeah, actually, we've talked about it here before. It's like I'm about to lose my mind with my hair. Like it's so. Like, look, I just want to show you this. Like it's gotten. Look at that. It's like fun. it's like Darren Stevens after a visit from Endora. It, yes, <laughs> it's out of control. And I almost and I almost pulled out the clippers. I know he was gonna shave his head. I, I was don't gonna want, do it. He can do it. You know, you can just I was present gonna do it. his hair however he wants. But I gotta say, I like him better with hair. But <laughs> so. Yeah, it's really long. So instead, we had to go to the post office box today. So I mm -hmm. stopped at the drugstore Yay. and I picked up some barrettes. Right, barrettes. Because apparently barrettes are gonna be are a, are a thing. I it's think this is my thing. my new quarantine look is the the barrette. Is the barrette. And so, of course, so we had to <laughs> run and find the hot glue gun when we got home and plug it in. And was it gonna be hot enough before the show? And it right. was. And so. I have attached this wonderful uh, eyeball tile onto the end Let's... of my barrette. There we go. And that's going to be my barrette to the day. <laughs> that's the one of today. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Barrettes. Barrettes are a thing Right, now. look at that. Right, All fixed. There you go. Look, and my hair actually looks like it's, like it's normal. You can't even tell unless it's turned to the side. Wow, you know there what? You we go. are Barrettes. chatterboxers right. today. We just, I think it's the masks or something, but we just said go and we just whoosh, Well, we went. also, we also, didn't we get coffees from Pete's this we morning? We did. Look at this. This is from Pete's. We got outside coffee from outside the house. I drank I mine drove all already. All the way to San Francisco. Oh, Actually, so any of you, this is a bit of a digression here, but crazy. Um, any of you smarty pants, artisty, computery people out there, we have used Wacom tablets forever, mm -hmm. and um, my hand is getting really fatigued from doing only mousing uh, for drawing, so I want to get my left hand, I'm left-handed, into the Wacom tablet again. And we don't want to spend $500. Ugh. So um, do you have any recommendations? I know Holly uses them. She probably has a super fancy one. I think she has one from work, probably. And yeah, I bet. You know, that's her. That's All right, her so if you have any suggestions, but anyway, yes, email please us. tell us. And let's say hello to whoever's yeah, here. Yeah, so Apple's is here. <laughs> whoever's here. Apple's here. Aubrey <laughs> Kovach is here. Brickanista. Hi, Naomi. Brickworm. Uh, Christopher Charles and Son, welcome, oh, awesome. welcome, so glad. Debo Bricks is here. Okay, Bricks. Hey, Eric. Uh, golly, I've lost my track now. Oh, Hooded One is right here. There. Insane Lego fan. JMW Yay. Music. How's it going? Uh, Johnny Cat. Always, always Hi, so Johnny. glad to see you. I knew you would approve of the barrette, Johnny. Don't you think I've been trying to get him to wear a barrette as a <laughs> for like a month for a now? Month. Uh, Corey Kinnick is here. Hey, Corey, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Lego Bricks and Tips. Uh, Maraid Walsh and Maraid, I have something to tell you in a second. All right. uh, Marilyn Parmley is Who here. Generously offered to cut. Flynn's hair safely, socially, like she's gonna like cut it like this. Again. Yes, and as much as I, as much as I love the Parmleys, I don't know that we can drive to like Monterey for a haircut. 
Yep. Not, not yet. <laughs> I love you. But but, but now we have cute themed barrettes. Um, and more masks coming. Yep. Which I'm very excited about. Marilyn. Uh, Mini Fig Chick is here, of course. And oh, Mini yeah. Fig Nick. Nick and Chick are both here. Uh, Moto is here. Hey, Moto. Uh, Sadie, Shane LeVan, uh, Zach Martinez, and Kim hey, Zarakina. David Robinson is here. He showed up. Very Yay. good. And Dan Bakken. Wow, look at that. The Bakkenator is the, here. Uh, the Chewbacken has arrived. <laughs> All of those things. Well, so I'm so excited. Um, we love the how-tos. Um, I love uh, sort of organizing my thoughts about them, and, and Flynn is such a great teacher. But I got to say, the Scooby-Doo Mansion is pretty darn exciting. It's purple. Oh. Uh, what? It's what purple. Happened? No, I was just saying it's purple. That's it is exciting. purple, yes. Um, so, real quick, you this... have like a residence theme going on. Like, I do. You know the residence? Um, so I so this oh, week right. our um, hey Lucas Emery is here hey Lucas um, so yeah. this is our challenge this week we are rebuilding the street sweeper so um, if you okay. have a copy of the street sweeper it's any it's you can only use the bricks that are in the box except you may use a base plate and you may also add additional minifigures and Maraid yep. what I wanted to tell you. And I didn't get a chance to email you as I tried to send you a set, and Amazon is out. <laughs> so yeah. we, but... bought, we bought two sets uh, because we were each going to do one. But since you're local, we will drop one of these off to you. Yeah, if personally. you let us know how to do that, we will do a drive by. Yeah, and leave so Lego just, on um, your porch. Just do, just, yeah, so just do us a favor and, and email me your home address, and we will drop by. I mean, if that's okay with you, and we'll drop by. Or you can come and um, pick it up from us. Yeah, your, as, your as you like, we're neighbors. Okay, so now that that's done. I am so happy. I am ready for Halloween. I'm so re Well, I'm always ready for Halloween, right? It would be be very exciting. Yep. Uh, so, all right. I think maybe it's time for sticker set show I and tell. I think so. Do you think? Or should we do... Yeah, we'll do... That's right. We're doing this first. Oh, it's all out of order. We're... <laughs> I know. We're going all crazy today. Here we go. <laughs> All right, sticker set, show and tell, everyone. Right. Hey, Alexander 68C, welcome. We're gonna go all the way back to 2018. Okay. For, um, oh, I didn't even, I wrote the code of the sticker. I didn't write the set number. Well, the code of the no, sticker is 37575-621-8812. So oh, many goodness. numbers. But this is the Ford Oops. Fiesta Sport um, from the Speed Champions. And I just think even, it, even though I may not build the Ford Fiesta Sport a second time, all of those little arrows and blue things would be great Did on Did you build box. it the first time? I may not. <laughs> well, that is to say, I would I would build it once, you know, and then take it apart. All right. <laughs> Look at that. All right. No, it's true. This may have been a donated... Um, I've built a few cars, especially since we got on... Since we started LEGO Masters. Yes. Um, because I wanted to know about cars, but this may have been a donated sticker set. It is very true. Speaking of which, if you have stickers you like, email us a picture of the sticker and we'll share that during Sticker Time Show and Tell. Absolutely, we will. All right, so real quick, we got some some quick... Speaking of cars. Quick LEGO news coming up. Yeah, speaking of cars... Uh, the new Technic Lamborghini um, Cyan? 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 I'm going to say Cyan, Cyan because I heard that once on TV. Okay, well, that's good enough. Um, so it's a lot. It's 3,696 pieces. Now, wow. I know because he's my, my boss and friend, but Chris Malloy, who reviewed this, it took him days to build it. Like, we were having discussions like <laughs> over the whole time, and I can't even believe it was... Amazing. Well, um, those lines are so good, and that doesn't come without having some scale, right? Right. Well, I wonder if it's got. It must have all independent suspension. I love this that. mock. I don't know if um if uh, Steve Parmley is watching, but Marilyn, you can tell this is uh, somebody did this amazing mock. Yay, Steve! And I also wanted to. No, I mean, Steve didn't make this mock. No. But it makes me think of it because you know he's a first responder. Um, and I also wanted to show that I posted my last Pride article. I wrote three Pride articles for yep. um, for Brothers Brick, and we um, last or yesterday I did the, I posted the virtual Pride parade. Which was um, everyone's submissions, right? Which was everyone's submissions. There's a video you can go and watch it. Uh, it's all right there on. Um, 
uh, and, and I, Eric, I, I know Eric uh, has a piece in here, although for some reason, I thought Eric had a piece in here. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, scroll back up for a moment, would but, you? Yeah. Just, um, um, look at that one piece, especially this on, my on the lower right there. Yeah, this one was my favorite um, of all of with them. With all the so greebling in Oh, you just... can't see it. Oh, on no. Oh, uh, here, I'll see if I can't. Uh, here, we'll open it up so you can see. There we go. There, there a little go. better. That is my favorite one right How there clever. on the right. And then the one on the left. Just to the left of that. Is part of the one uh, that. Um, that won. That right? won. That's part of the one that won. And yeah. we judged the winner of all of those. Um, it, yeah, along, along with, with Samuel Sam Hatmaker and, and Aaron. And Aaron. Yeah, who is uh, not a gay fool. I mean, he is, but he he's is an, an ally. ally. Yep. He is about to. Um, he's about to be married to a lady. I know. So there you go. Um, all right, so Bill Ward is here. Welcome, the Mowgli. How's hey, it going? Bill. Um, so glad uh, everybody is here today. We actually have some viewer mail. Oh, yeah, we went up. Flynn, so I went to San Francisco to um, in search of a Wacom tablet, and um, Flynn went, he trudged all the way uphill both <laughs> directions to the post office. <laughs> um, in so, a full, like, in space suit. In a space suit. Uh, Patty is here. Hey, Patty, how's it going? So first up, I got this. We got this postcard. Greetings from Nashville. Awesome. Well, cool. I don't know um, anyone in Nashville before. This, this is from Shane Levant. Oh, cool. And he says, grab the glasses. He says, my friend made this postcard, and I know, um, and I knew who I should send it to. My favorite streamers. Oh, Yay, thank you, Shane. Um, I write poetry, so I thought it would be fun to write a Tricky Bricks-inspired haiku wow. entitled Logan Cookie Time. <laughs> At 10.45, the world completely stops for a dog eating treats. Shane Levin. <laughs> Yay. Yay, awesome. yeah, no, I have to we have to print that big and put it up. <gasps> yes. I mean, that right? needs to be like, like on the wall. A beautiful framed haiku about Logan An inspirational time. an inspirational like Yeah. Logan hanging. Well, it can join the the <laughs> art gallery too, our growing art gallery. Thank you. Yes. That's so thoughtful. That was very zen. Thank you. Wow. Well, um, I we have another that in the morning. We have another piece of mail here. Now we have a bunch, so I'm going to spread it out over um, the a couple of days. But let's see. Now this one doesn't have a name. It just has a PO box. So let's see. Um, oh, oh, look so at this. It's <laughs> from it's from Tampa, Florida. Oh, yes. So this says, um, uh, I did not want to keep interrupting the live chat, so decided to write you this way. I am the one who thanked you regarding the technic class. Oh, this oh, is cool. from John Luttrell. Thank you. Um, your technic class was so helpful. I, like I told you, I conquered a difficult technic set in about six hours. Yay. Um, let me see. They can be really hard. Well, so, so somebody's asking if we could record some classes like we do our technical things and, and upload them to YouTube or on our personal Facebook page. So that is, that's definitely something we could think about. Like somebody did yep. mention maybe editing out just the teaching parts of the videos. Because, you know, obviously yeah. everything is um, uh, uh, archived. We have all of everything our... Everything is archived. Our, our archive. Yeah, I could see. The first thing we're going to do is make a playlist of all the how-to days. So anyone who wants to go there would be able to easily search that. Yeah. Um, and I think... We're going to um, have our website be kind of a hub for a lot of this stuff, too. You no, know? Yeah, uh, yes, and we should. Now, do we want to do this, or should we save that for Wednesday? I think we should do it now. I think this we should do it saying. now. Okay. I want to share this with you. I'm not sure who this came from. So, so speak up, up or, <laughs> or don't, as Thanks. you wish. But somebody <laughs> sent us... <laughs> We're going to put this together right now. Oh, are we? Should we? I think so many people are here for Scooby-Doo. Okay, you know wait. what? Okay, we'll, um, we'll show you, then we'll put it together, and then we'll show you it done tomorrow. So we got... Oh, okay. it's me. It's my, <laughs> this is Moto. Yay, Moto. I love you, Moto. Moto sent us... <laughs> here, show oh, it to everyone. I will. It's a, I'm trying to get the name right, though. It's a Polly Pocket... Polly Pocket Rainbow Dream Purse. <laughs> oh look, you, and you can see there's there's it being modeled. There it is right in there. action. 
over so, the shoulder, very, uh, very jaunty over the shoulder. So I will, oh, it's a poly bag for Miss Thing. Oh, it's for Miss oh. Thing. Oh, Miss Thing. She's gonna be very excited. I'm sure she's going to to love it. I'm saying I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wear it. Um, yeah. Um, that's the second time Ms. Thing has gotten a present. She's gotten now a rainbow bag, and she got <laughs> just, just like on Carol Merrill. <laughs> she got uh, the little play, the little trays that we use for our pieces. So who was it? Um, was it um, thank you so much, Moto. <laughs> this is so awesome. Flynn, this you'll who, definitely have some. <laughs> Flynn, who are the two ladies? Bring that back here a second. Oh, who are the two ladies who we think are the funniest of all of them? Um, what? Who one was Abfab and then the other is not. Oh, French and Saunders. French and Saunders do a QVC article, you or, know, or, uh, a, a skit. And you can yeah. see here that the Polly Pocket, <laughs> right here, the rainbow slide and the netting. She definitely, yeah, maybe this. So this is. A, oh, you know what? And it's not just a purse. It's a handbag. Oh. Really? <laughs> It Sorry. is. We have fun, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Moto. That's great. We, we, yeah, we'll put that together off screen and we'll show you. Um, or Ms. Thing will show you. Oh, okay. So, is we, that, have so a, we have other viewer mail for other days. Yeah, so right? we're going to spread, spread that out. For, uh, uh, that, yeah, so it is a poly bag. That it's haiku very, was. I'm so excited. That haiku was so great. At 1045, the world completely stops for. A dog eating treats. <laughs> it's right to the point. It is. I so I think that's everything. Did we cover all of our stuff in the first twenty minutes? Yeah, I, that was all we missed. So oh oh right pins. We missed our pins. Oh yes. All right, so you today, go first this time. I got this whole monster thing going on. I got my bride of uh, I got my bride of Frankenstein shirt on. I've got my um, spooky eye barrette. My, yeah, I've got my spooky eyeball barrette, and I have my uh, I have my Dracula mask. And so this is a pin. It's not a Disney pin. Nope. But this is from uh, Johnny Cat. He gave me a collection of these, like six of them. They're amazing. But this is my pin for the day. Let me see if I can't get it to focus. Oh, there. Will it focus? Almost. Come Pull on. back a little. Oh, she's out of, you know, she's in she's another out of dimension. Time. She is in yeah. another dimension. I didn't try to she's from the color time. out of time. Well, there you go. There oh, go. almost. That was so close. You have patience. There we go. That's Thank you, viewers, like. for having patience with us. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely fabulous. I loved. I loved Absolutely Fabulous. And I have never laughed out loud more than at French and Saunders. <sighs> Um, those two. We have a whole box set. Yeah, they're crazy. Yeah. All right. We've got Oswald here, one of the first oh, ones I wore on one. the stream. He's great. It's so cute. With his banjo. Didn't we see? We saw a behind the scenes of the Muppet movie. And oh, oh yes. it, it was that prop show, right? Yeah. So because they were in search of Kermit's banjo. So, yeah, that we, we went. Uh, so, there's a show on Disney Plus called Prop Culture where this guy goes around and looks for like authentic movie props from old movies. On, specifically, this show, of course, old Disney movies. They did mm -hmm. Mary Poppins, Tron, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, they got like, they found the Frisbees from Tron. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So, yeah, and then what was the, and what were we just talking about? Sorry. Uh, we were just Where talking we about the from? Muppet movie. Oh yeah, the Muppet movie one, and they yeah they went in search of Kermit's banjo, and it's um, it yeah, and great. they found they talked to the costume designer who designed all of Miss Piggy's outfits too. Yeah, yeah, like crazy people who hadn't seen it in what forty years or something. All right, so everybody. more so, recent than the Muppet movie, and yeah. certainly more recent than Oswald Rabbit is Scooby Doo. It's actually not more recent than the Muppet movie. Really? Because it came out in the 60s. Well, this set. <laughs> no, this set, set is, is more yes, recent, for right? Sure. And then, so Flynn was making the graphic, and I was like, Flynn, why are you using this 3D version of Scooby-Doo? I didn't say it. I just thought this inside, right? I'm like, that's not Scooby-Doo. He's all 3D. And then I realized he was using the mini <laughs> It was the minifigure from Dimensions, right? Uh, no, it's the minifigure from this set. Oh, well, I guess that would make sense. Which is probably the same thing. He's very but... kooky. So I want everybody to check this out. So our good friend in the chat, Maraid, um, 
warned us, warned us, warned gave us, us a beware. heads up about this set mm -hmm. on um, on Craigslist after hearing that we were looking that I, after hearing that, that I had missed out on getting Velma and Daphne. I was really bummed. Oh right. Um, and I want you to know. Oh so like, look, they're both in this set. Yes, I know. That's why I wanted it. They're all in the all set. Right. So this is the whole. So this is the deal, right? I I was. I'm always, of course, you're always cautious when buying things off of. Um, uh, Craigslist and stuff. Sure. But I want to show you the note that came with this. It says audited 13120, one missing piece, 4210639, with a picture of it. It says gray, book two. You can replace with a black version if necessary. So I just want to show you. Look at this. This is thorough. That here. is right. so it that is, is a one by one Technic brick with a hole. hole in it. Right? I think we can cover that. Um, I think we're going to be okay. Lucas, you know what? I think you're right that Fred is not in this set, uh, but we do have him in the mystery machine. So we do have yeah. Fred. Hey, we need and to I thought it had all of them. Machine. Isn't that weird? You'd think that this, the biggest of all of them, um, it, it could, would have Fred. But yeah, this is, I believe... Now, is it Velma's only... Is this really Velma's only appearance? I thought she did... Um, I thought she was in the mummy one, but maybe I might be wrong. But yeah, there's our mystery machine with and Fred. And there's Fred. So he'll hang out. He'll, he'll, oh, I love the way this looks from the front. It is Velma's only set. Wow, and we Lucas need to would use know. that piece. By the way, Lucas, I loved your, um, your pride, uh, picture with all of the, the minifigure, uh, in, all in the solid colors. It was so oh, great. Oh, yeah, really, that was, really, and really a beautiful. great photo, too. So, um, I want to remind everyone the mystery machine has these diabolical stickers. Oh, yeah. Right? Woo! That's two stickers, half and half, that have to be perfectly matched for the text to work. Okay, so I want to, um, we'll go ahead. Diabolical. 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 Um, so here is the, so here's the instruction booklets. It comes with three. And the first one has the cover sort of like off a little of it, bit, but that's okay. We'll be careful. So I'll pull two and three off to the side. Yeah, so now we're going to be at this a couple of days, aren't we? We are. So interestingly, the person, even though they were very, um, you know, I think we can probably, let's skip to the part where we're actually building the house. Okay. And we can build the other stuff off camera. But I just yeah, wanted to show you, so plates. the person who uh, who di who did this, even though they were very, I'm sorry, they did not, and I'm glad they didn't because it would have been too much, uh, they did this, they actually divided it up in the pieces by book, which is crazy. Okay. Um, no, it is Velma. It is Velma, actually, yes. Um <laughs> So is there a this is book one. So there were, um, yeah, the pumpkins in this set are awesome. So okay. this, um, so we're gonna start off. Um, we're gonna skip past the. Um, there's like a motorcycle and a couple of other things, and we're going to go ahead and I think start with the part that is the house. Okay, can we leave these here or no? I guess they'll be in the way. Oh, oh that's that. perfect. Look at that. And actually, don't we have a um, we have a fancy book holder? But I think maybe we, we do can find it right now. Yeah, I know where it is. Oh, so this comes with this. Oh, tell everyone why I know where this is. Glenn. What did we do this weekend? Oh my goodness, so we awesome. added new storage, everybody, for our in our house, and we got a bunch of stuff out of the studio so that I'm much more able to use it as a. We got office. out the power tools. We just get out power tools. We were in the backyard, y'all, um, like cutting stuff up. In, in the sunshine. <laughs> in the sunshine. It was great. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to try and fuss us a little bit here. I feel like we're looking a little dark and dreary down here. Ooh, that's yeah. worse. Wow, that's definitely What's going worse. On? I don't know if this is going to... Here, that works. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna adjust. I'm gonna do a little bit of adjustment here, everybody. It's about to get crazy up in here, so watch out. Hey, speaking of watch out, we've been cooking up some kooky changes to the show. Have we? Oh, we yeah, have. we're still the same show, but we have some kooky ideas coming up. My goodness. Look at that. That's much better, right? I'm gonna yeah, I'll lower the brightness brighter. a little bit. But there look, we go. look how much better the contrast is. Nice colors. Ooh, look at that. We're hand models. Not too close though. We need manicures. Okay, so I'm just gonna start pulling out some little bits here and putting them together because I know um, that they go together. Um, what happened to my close-up cam? Is this the close-up cam? Am I crazy? 
I don't think so. <laughs> I don't either. No, close-up cam is closer. There we go. Da 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 da. Close-up cam. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put um, Scooby together. So he's got a nice sort of like lifted, uh, his raised paw in the front, which is exactly the pose that Logan does when he's waiting to chase the flirt pole or a squirrel. Yeah, or a squirrel. He he just he's right on it. So I'm putting all the plates together. Okay, I'm gonna in start. A thing. Remember yesterday how Moto scandalized all of this with his with his sort of heretical sorting methods? It didn't shock me. I, I thought wasn't it was amazing. Shocked. I thought it was great. But he was like, <laughs> this is this is out there. Okay, so here we go. Here's it Daphne. Was, though. He, he sorts different than everyone else on the panel, right? Yeah. So here's Daphne. Um, she's got her little. We had. It's funny because we had this torso. It was the only part that I um, that I got. Right? That would be a great like um, uh, uh, <laughs> like Quentin Crisp shirt. It's a very. It's very. Oh, and look. And here, check out Daphne's hairpiece. This is awesome, right? That's pretty good. Who else would? Oh, you know really that's cool. like Ginger from from. Uh, Gilligan's Island. So there she is, all together. I don't think she's supposed to have a little skirt on. I think she's just wearing it. It's just printed on. All right. Your methods are arcane. I don't think that's true. What, I think Moto? you're exaggerating. Well, it occurs to me that your methods, Moto, are are very well suited to transporting bricks from place to place. Yes. As opposed to just sitting in one place and spinning around and they're all there. I think you, you trek with yours. Look at this. There's bugs. Oh, this yeah, yeah. The stickers are actually put on pretty oh, well. Oh, sorry. This one doesn't have that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that one here. We'll do so another second. So you got spiders there, shot. and then you've got Shaggy. So now we have Shaggy, Scooby, and Daphne. Right. We got all three. Where is it? But how about Velma? She's in another bed. She, I'm sorry, the your, the princess is in another castle. Yeah, <laughs> she's in another bag. Um, and we do have this scary knight guy who, um, it's a, it, wasn't it called like, it's a nice night for a night or something like that. It was really weird. So he's got this, he's got like a little costume on, um, because of course all of the villains in, um, in Scooby-Doo were always people in disguise. Always. So even though he's no got, no one knows until the end. And even though he's got armor on, he's got like a shirt and tie, like underneath the armor. <laughs> and then... Hey, G5 Top Marksman 48, how's it going? Welcome. Um, and then on the other side, he's kind of got like a, a regular face, like with a cowl on, and he's got glasses and kind of a, like, like crooked glasses like this, and then he's frowning. <laughs> he J really Jam W well. Music, hashtag dark arcane. You gotta watch out for those dark arcane sorting methods. It's true. Okay, so I'm starting to You'll end to up see... building things like Moto. I'm I wish. I, I know. wish I could you build gotta things watch like Moto. Out. Um, okay, so this guy comes with... Um, so this, yeah, the torso looks like a fancy jacket, but it's actually partial armor. And then he gets this armor piece that goes oh, on like top. That. The sort of slip-on armor. Slip-on armor. Uh, it's a new thing. And then you can flip his head around, and he's got just like a scary black head with yellow, with just yellow eyes. And then, oh, that fit perfectly yeah, so in the helmet. Yeah, you can see That's when this great. helmet's on. All right. Spooky. It is very spooky. Oh, and look, there's a hot dog because um, because Shaggy. There's got to be a hot dog. He did like his snacks, didn't he? Oh yeah. Well, there's a. Well, we could talk at the length whole, see, about that. See, you know that. The, the whole Logan catching things, which I've been working on. He and I have been working on that about a Oops. year. Just him catching hard things They're to catch. They're gonna give you these treats. Um, is all so Scooby-Doo based building. it because is. of how he reacts when he gets Scooby snacks. He gets very excited. Very, very excited. <laughs> we play a game, too, where I hide kibble pieces all over the back of the house. He has to wait out here, and then I say, okay, and he has to go and find them oh, all. He loves that <laughs> one. He loves that one. Yep. All right, so we're already we're building. I believe what we're building here is a little bit of the greenhouse. And there's... Oh, for the spooky biting plants? There's lots of sort of Audrey 2 biting plants. I can see the greenhouse here. Uh... So I'm just sorting. Do you want me to hand you anything? 
Uh, Zerakino, just making sure because I restarted and it was still doing. I'm not sure what. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, get video freezes. Okay. Oh, our video freezes. Our video is freezing. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm I hope sorry. Not. Who knows? You know. Um, sometimes it's it's really not us. It's the internet. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, Chris, Christopher Chalice, I think they definitely had some, um, yeah. They had some treats. Some, they were always looking for munchies. All right. <laughs> okay, so we're looking for two dark, is that dark green? Yeah, two dark green slopes, all right. Yeah, you know, it's oh, funny. Oh, we need to talk I, to Christopher Chalice, don't we? I paid, yes, no, I don't know. Don't we, don't, oh, or was it Christopher, um... Coster. Coster, Christopher Coster. Right. Sorry, okay. so many Christophers. Christopher with a K. Um, so there is another dark green here. Now this is already like has tons more colors in it than most, you know, most things. Well, it's got that, you know, the the key, the lime green and purple. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. We like I said, we paint. We went a long time ago to start paid for the fancier internet, so we would have oh, it yeah. for the stream. And it's and been it's less so reliable. Dicey. Yeah. It's funny. The faster internet has been less reliable than when we used to have old like hamster wheel internet. Yeah. I mean, certainly we we look better. Although, talk about hamster wheel internet. Who here remembers? You don't have to reveal yourself, but who here Just remembers? Reveal yourself. Like a, an eight. What an eighteen eight or a fourteen four modem, and you were trying to like, you know, communicate with people over acoustic like cups attached to the phone things. Oh my gosh! And it would make that fax sound. <laughs> there we go. Oh sure, John, absolutely, of course. What's thank that? you. I'm so glad that you were able to take something away from our Technic class. Oh yeah, and thanks for sending mail. We love letters. Ever since I was a little kid, I love getting mail. It's so much better than bills, you know, and stuff, right? But anything would. You know, be. that's so much digital now. We don't even. I don't know when the last time I saw a bill was. Ooh. It all just magically disappears from our account. Now. Yeah, I was because everything's <laughs> automated now, right? Oh, yeah, the days of dial-up. Can you imagine if we were trying to do this on a phone? Can modem? you imagine? <laughs> you would wait. So you'd wait like 20 minutes for it to connect, and then it would be like the wrong channel. <laughs> Except the channel was actually a bitmapped picture of, like, you know, a kitten. <laughs> that took 20 minutes, and then, you know, you finally downloaded oh, it on your black and white or green and white screen, and then you printed it on your dot matrix printer and pulled the little things off the side so it was paper. Oh, those things were the worst. I did all my college papers with a, a dot matrix printer with a TRS-80 Model 100 laptop. I could store 30 pages of text in that before I would have to save it to cassette tape. Wait, what? I did. I would either have to save it to cassette tape, or if I wanted to play a game, I could um, wipe it load the game from cassette tape onto my little laptop with the LCD screen. Fired. Right? And play some kind of like text-based, you know, D&D &D kind of thing. Oh my goodness. Right? And then go back and write 30 more pages and print them out. I'm looking for a one-by-one one brown uh, brick. Like this? That is correct. All right, so we've got now a little surround. We're starting to build my up. First PC had Windows 1.0. Hooded one that goes back. Was it on a? Um, how was that delivered? Was it on a floppy disk? It had to have been like a seven and a half inch floppy Did disk. Did you get your AO, your AOL disk in the mail? <laughs> <laughs> I had so many AOL CDs. Oh my god! Everyone did. They were they, they just sent them to you. CDs. I've actually so we're trying to save room for more Lego, right? So we have a drawer. <laughs> Full of old software on DVDs and CDs. When will we ever use no, one we just piece need to, we of just software need to throw it away. from like eight systems ago, from Mac OS two, two by <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> a two by four gray plate. Oh, we're building. Yes, a two I'm by four get... gray plate. I don't see it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, no. Here it is. Ta -da. Wow, that was a close one. I was going to say, I, I have faith in this. I have faith in this person. 
that they did the right thing. It's good. We've had really good luck on Craigslist. We have re we have gotten Flynn really really good luck. Flynn has had really good luck. He got an entire medieval village on Craigslist. Right? Didn't you? Yep. I sure did. All right, there you go. You, f you phased there into another reality. I did for a moment. I usually do. That's sort of my thing. <laughs> it's the Maybe thing that keeps me from going crazy. Is that barrette too tight? <laughs> a little. Maybe it's not <laughs> tight enough. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, so logs and a two. Oh, palisades. No, a log. Yeah, it's palisades. Sorry, I should call it by its. That's proper okay. Name. We call it logs. And we got uh, so now this is this is another piece. That's World one of my favorites. Carta. Right. Well, are people talking about encyclopedias, like actual on the shelf encyclopedias? We had the World Book Encyclopedia, and you would get like an one issue like this thick would encapsulate everything that happened in the world <laughs> in the entire well, last year. The, 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 according to World Book Encyclopedia. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, okay, so we're getting, ooh, we're adding on a, wait. Wait, we have a, look at this. A purple door. I am so excited for a purple door. I can't even tell you. Purple door. Imagine that with like a yellow doorknob, a gold doorknob. Uh, there we go. White plates. I mean, black plates. Well, you used a lot of, didn't you use purple and lime green in your window treatments for Snake Queen? I did. Well, I mean, purple and lime green is pretty classic. It's Disney villain. Oh, right? uh, Wilfred is here. Bonsoir, Wilfred. Uh, yeah, we did. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Did you just lose your yep, train of thought? Of course, thought I there? did. Okay, we were talking briefly for about four seconds about <laughs> the window treatments from Snake Queen. Oh yes, being in Disney villain colors, exactly. Which was deliberate. Which was right? deliberate, and also, I mean, that was a very popular like 1960s. Like this color combination was very popular for monster stuff in the 60s. It went beyond, like in the 60s, it went beyond like. You know, Frankenstein being scary to Frankenstein being like kooky, kind kooky. of kooky and campy. Like post, and... post Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Right, exactly. Oh, check it out, y'all. So we've got we've got pumpkins here or jack o' lanterns with faces, and they are actually um, minifigure heads compliant. <laughs> and you can put there's a uh, transparent orange piece in here, and it gets. It goes here on top of this um, rotator. Okay. So we have a, a rotating uh, pumpkin at the moment. Wow, it's like a pumpkin mullet. It's like party in the front, business in the back. Look, I'm just soup in the back here, soup in the back. Wow. Now it's a Halloween party. Oh, my goodness. So right. um, what I was thinking um, before Sorry. I went a step too far there um, was too that far. wouldn't it be fun if one of, if I lit one of our mansions, whether it was this one or the new one or the monster Yes, I fighters, think you should do all you know, of them, personally. And that would be a great way to talk about how to light a mock, too, right? Oh, look at you. Look at you. Yes, yeah, so that? We, we could do a lighting thing as our yeah. next one. Like, well, we'll build the mystery mansion, and then you can light it in the next. Okay. How about that? Now, now the one thing I've been hesitant about with lighting is that I don't use actual Lego system lights for the most part. We have a couple of them, like power, um, power functions lights, but we find that they're not very bright and they're not very easy to use, which Lego is changing. Well, they're right? they're hoping to. They're looking well, into didn't we, it. It wasn't too behind the scenes, was it, that we did that interview? No, we did a little interview with somebody from Lego about Lego lighting, and they did show those... Like an hour-long um, interview. They did show those... Um, Possible lighting things that gonna that they're gonna be doing. Oh so, yeah, where they would sell kits to light up sets yeah. that they already have, right? So, and, but it had the wires are so fragile, and they don't want you to like buy it and have it immediately break. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm not, I would, uh, but I think that's okay. Like I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't worry about that. Like we're showing, yeah. you know, we are not. Um, Although well, we're we not, owe in the... not to Lego, we're not employed by them, so right, right, right. it's okay well, for us to talk about things that are, you know, off the yeah. 
kind well, of thing. Again, like I've said with Mega Bloks, I don't have any kind of moral objection to anyone's box, right? Like, use whatever toy or model or art supply you want. That's fine. The only problem I have with Mega Bloks is that it makes system bricks go out of system sometimes. So I, I avoid them for that reason. Um, but with, with third-party lighting, I think what I could do is just talk about ways you can think about lighting a mock and ways you can take bricks like this um, one by one Technic brick with a hole and look at that. And with a cone on the front of it, suddenly you have a light fixture, right? And then you could use whatever third party light you want in there. So it wouldn't be like I'm advertising so much for one company. But there is one I like the best. So yeah, enough yeah. about that. I think we should do a lighting thing where we light an actual set. I think that's a great idea. I am continuing on here. So yeah, we're definitely for building... the gingerbread house too. So is that does that already exist, Brickanista? Yeah. H have they started oh, selling no, 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 no. the lighting kits yet? They haven't, have they? Um, no, not yet. They have not started selling anything officially oh. yet. Oh, you just installed the lighting kit on the London Skyline set. Um, Naomi, is that's that... a third party? It's third party, yeah. right? There's a, there are third party well, lighting sets that they, a... that they make specifically for certain Lego sets. sets. Yeah, the the big one I've seen is the, the Disney um, Ghostbusters. Oh, I've seen know, the Disney Firehouse. Castle one a lot. That's the one yeah. I always. Well, seem to I wouldn't see. mind doing that, but I think we should do it ourselves. I'm not really helping you build this at all. I'm just sitting here and talking, talking about That's fine. whatever comes in my this head. This is um, you know, we're sort of speeding through this as much as possible. So, are you putting the right windows in the right places there? Yeah, I'm, I for think for our so. completionism. Yeah, so here you can see that the stickers were already applied here with these sort of like man-eating plant stickers right. and, and there's those... your purple door and there's a big picture window here on the side and you know what all right. for all of the for all of the fretting we do about getting our stickers perfect these stickers are nowhere near perfect and they look great fortunately they you know they have those clear backs yeah, they're, they're on cl they're they on clear back so that helps <laughs> All right, and now we're gonna lock it all in. My favorite, my favorite thing. Yeah, Locking when it actually it becomes in. a building. All right. Pardon there me, you just a minute. I'll be right back. Oh, and Patty, Sharon, I think I saw you in the chat. Just so you know, I have a thing here that your street street your street sweeper should be arriving today. Um, yeah, I have a little note here from uh, from the, uh, from Amazon. Oh, Pink Wheels 3 is here. Hey, Meredith, how's it going? Very cool. You had a hot date once when my boyfriend, now husband, taught me how to s solder in the electrical engineering lab. Oh, wow. that's so sweet. That is so romantic. You know, it is almost that time. Is... I'm being reminded oh, really? that it is almost time. Okay, so I'll, I'll remind you that you have an additional task now that you didn't used to have. Right. If it's is it here it is. and ready? Look at that. It's not. <laughs> it is. There were two, there were two. Look at this. Well, you know, we did clean up a lot. One, and clean two, cleaning two. up always means that other, that other things get yeah, moved aside exactly. that are supposed to be there. All right, everybody. It's uh, it is that it is that time of the day. All right, let's go. Uh, here we go. Hey, look who it is! Yay! And Lovely thank cookie you time and a minute early. To Naomi. Yes, thank you, Auntie Naomi. We have duck and bacon. Looking, you want one of those? Here. <laughs> oh, we caught it. Even Yay! Though I it Here, we'll give you two more. They're just tiny puppy treats. All right. Is this the happy sound? <laughs> it's a. That's a minor happy it sound, right? It doesn't the same it's crunch as a as a big crunchy. Yeah, oh, yes. But he <laughs> loves the bacon. That's so funny. Uh, Mini fig chick and paint pusher were over yesterday for a socially distanced backyard masked uh, drop off of the of the the um That's it. the kit and a couple of other things. And I don't know if we did. Um, oh, I had to show. This is almost like viewer mail. I wanted to show you something that. Um, so first of all, he mentioned that um, that Logan hadn't licked me in the face in a really long time, and then he oh, says, right. did, did he do now? that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but check it out. So um, so Minifig Chick sent me 
Here, can we? No, nope, he's oh, got Oh, you it. got it. A baby sloth, uh, brought me a baby sloth, and I'm so excited about That's pretty cute. Baby sloth, all right? <laughs> baby sloth is awesome. <laughs> okay. We like baby animals, I don't do we, love baby animals. Reason. And it's there's true. also a really a cool, um, oh yeah, there was another thing too. Check this out. Now, oh, I haven't seen this before, yes. and do you think this is system? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. It looks like it's maybe built on an actual thing, but anyway, this awesome sort of like chrome mug thing. Yeah, it's going to be hard. Gonna go It'll be focus. hard to focus that but one. It's sorry. Tiny. Very good. <laughs> I saw at the San Francisco Exploratorium, this great science interactive museum, they had a tiny, um, they were talking about how to save water, you know, if you've got a drippy drippy faucet, how much that weighs. And they had a tiny little doll with a tiny little cup that size. It's system, yay! She had a tiny cup anyway. that size, and then it kept filling up with drips, and she would take it and take it and take it, and then it added up, of course, to like 400,000 tons of water, you know, per hour, or whatever oh the goodness. number was. It's a lot. It was a lot of water at any rate. Okay, so we're looking for, here we go, we're back to this, we're doing a clip okay. here. What step are we With on? With a one by 27? We're on 27, so we're looking for this, oh, I love plants that come in this color. Oh, in that light green? This is the, yeah, this is the, like the, it's called bright green, and it looks so good along with the regular green when you're doing landscaping. Oh, the chrome cup is from it Scala. Is from Scala, ah! thank you, many thanks, <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Um, oh, the Chrome Stormtrooper. Isn't that, um, <laughs> but isn't that, uh, um, Captain Phasma? Isn't that the Chrome one? I could be wrong. Yeah, Captain Phasma. Uh, yes. it's, she's also somebody else that there. we know. Who else do we know? Captain Phasma is somebody that we know. I mean, not that we know personally, but you know um, who I'm talking about, right? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, Gwendolyn Christie. Oh, who, uh, who of played uh, Brienne of Tarth in, in uh, Game of Thrones. Yes. Was uh, also, oh, you know what we were talking about the other day? What was and that? Is that how you were saying how funny it was that there's so many things that we talk about. Yeah. Um, there's so many things that we talk about, like old, you know, like old things that people remember, and of course, like of course, everybody remembers Game of Thrones, but yeah, even like, though no one talks about it, was it like anymore, all Game of Thrones all the time until the last episode. Oh yeah, and then everybody got mad, and now no one talks about it's it anymore. It's true. Like it's seriously like it just disappeared from the pop culture landscape, and usually stuff like that, like it really hangs on I mean, for a long time boxes, afterwards. There's in jokes, there's pop culture references, and so okay, in our house, we were huge fans, right? We had yes. a party with friends. We went to the the thrift store and we bought all these like pewter cups and plates. We and did, we, and we cut <laughs> George R. George R. R. Martin food. So look, this is the one thing I have left. Well, we didn't make food for him. No, no, we made food from <laughs> recipes, was from, from, recipes from, his from the books, book, right? right. Um, but that's a thing. Everyone got mad at the way they wrote the last season, and it disappeared. Seriously, like they, it's like the whole thing. Um, what do they call it? Cancel culture. They just canceled Game of Thrones. Like it ended, and like no one ever says, no one ever says anything anymore. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, Brick and Issa. I think people are embarrassed by the way some of the characters devolved. Well, I think I think that's true, and I also think that um, that. Uh, People were yes embarrassed, and because I, I know that like I read somewhere that Khaleesi was a name that a lot of people named their kids. Oh, and then and then, and then, now, when, they're and so then now they're really mad. They're super mad. <laughs> okay, so forgive me how dusty this is. I'm gonna detail this later today and put it by my desk. But so I have this um, this. Do you want me to vintage PC computer? Yeah, there you it's go. my it's my pencil cup. It's a vintage PC computer, and who do I have in there? Tyrion <laughs> Lannister in his armor in black and white. Oh my goodness. Right? So we were fans, but we got mad too, didn't we? Well, it just, yeah, it was super disappointing. And I've read, I mean, you know, I've read all the books and was really excited, and then wah, wah. All right, I... Well, that makes me happy. Now I pulled that out, and it's by my desk. Very good. Here's a small window, and we need one more Palisades brick. All right. It's going to go right there. Where? In 
I don't see the instruction. There it is. Mm -hmm. And then, and then I've a got slope. These. I've got those already. I like here. these instructions. They have, um, this is a set where they have clear white lines around all the black bricks. Oh, and like all, all, the, all the dark ones. I think they had to yeah. do it because there's so much purple and black in this set. Yeah, it really is. And I love that the that the cut that the pages are green like that. We uh, Brickanista says we were all cheering for Jon Snow. I was cheering for Jon Snow. Even I don't okay, so I don't know. Do we need to be wary of spoilers for a show like Game of Thrones that's already done. I'm sorry, okay, if you don't want any Game of Thrones spoilers, <laughs> then turn it off right now. Turn yeah. it off. I was, Bye Will Strubble. See ya. I was cheering for Jon Snow before he died, after he came back, in every relationship, with everything he did, and he was such a sad sack. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know, somebody said there, she was glad Podrick never became a popular name. You know, I'm glad too, but... <laughs> He's poor my, Pod. He's my special favorite. He I is. Have a he's super, his special favorite. I have a favorite. super crush on, um, on Podrick. But anyway, that's a whole other. <laughs> that's a whole other show. Okay, <laughs> and I guess we don't need to go too far down this rabbit hole. But since I never said oh. it to anyone, What's that? I do have to say that personally, I wanted. Um, okay, Maisie Williams. Why am I losing? Aria. I, I wanted Arya. Wow, well, you remember her real name? I'm I impressed. know all of those names. I, I wanted Arya to kill Cersei, and I wanted her disgu who, to disguise herself as someone else, and then be like, you know what? It's not that someone else. It's me. I wanted her to disguise herself as Jamie. Oh. That would have been awesome. Come here, Cersei. Give me a big old kiss. You know what? Actually, it's Arya, and you're right. done. <laughs> <laughs> you're done. Okay, so Flynn, yes. as long as we're on this subject here, while we're building the Scooby-Doo model, okay. what is your favorite death scene in the whole series? Because I bet oh I know what it is. Oh my goodness, of Game of Thrones? I bet I know what it is. And it's not like we can talk about this on a on a you know family show. <laughs> I guess <laughs> it's great. It's awesome. It's one of the best death performances I've ever seen in my oh, entire life. Well, of course. Who is it? I mean, even when? though we didn't, even though we didn't specifically see her die, uh, Diana Rigg as uh, yes. the Queen of Thorns. Oh my goodness. Her like final scene was oh, Pink Wheels Three. The that most was amazing thing ever. Horrible. Oh, no, the, the Red, red wedding. wedding. Okay, so horrible. I'll tell you something funny about the Red Wedding. <laughs> There's is, something funny yes, about the Red Wedding? Well, I mean, funny for me. Dark funny. Okay. Um, there was a... Um, so I had read all the books, but Richard hadn't read the books. Not at all. So I knew oh, yeah. I knew what was going to happen. <laughs> uh, what, I have to combine these. things. Yes. Yeah. I'm not helping at all. You no, know. I know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, anyway, there was... Um, uh, wait, what was I talking about? It you were talking me. about when you were sitting reading <laughs> oh, yeah, George so, R. R. Martin's books. Okay, so I, I read about the Red Wedding, and then when we got to the the place where it was going to happen in the show, Richard didn't know it was going to happen, and I did. And I was on the couch, literally, like I was crawling up with my my knees up, like all I was so <laughs> I was so wrecked. I was just like, I yep. can't, I can't. And then, um, and then it happened, and I was, oh man, it and was then awful. There's another character who you think dies but doesn't actually die, and Flynn was in tears in bed reading. He's like reading this book. Tears streaming. Oh, I also down threw the book down and screamed no and ran he out of the room. He was so mad. <laughs> he was really mad. I was so upset. And then, and then when I came out, it turned out that wasn't and then the they're case. Like, I was wah, embarrassed. Wah, it's not. So it was so well done, wasn't it? I mean, I one by I one. Have lots of what do you want? Brown from? cube, and I I don't see it. No. Uh -oh. oh no! Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh oh! You mean not one of these that's already mounted there? No, nope. it is a definitely a cube. Okay, and I bet you we have one in here. In, oh, there's in, my big arm in the cup that's been inexplicably here for the cup of earth tone one by twos and one by one and one by one. All right, that, just waiting. So there we go. So yeah, we got mad at the end of Game of Thrones, but gosh, it was so well done. We had a mock we wanted to do. We started working on action. Oh, it would have been so awesome. It's, and I may do it someday. We may still do this. It's a micro scale, oh, mini this. fig scale combination. Looking over Cersei's shoulder. Okay, and don't say looking over Cersei's shoulder as a certain thing happens. As she watches something that's so big happening that I can't even tell you. <laughs> it's gonna, really cool. I'm just going to leave that one. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so check this out. I'm loving the way that they're building this in that they have empty spaces which w will the, which act as broken windows. So this one has oh, just yeah. like a clear um, cheese wedge as, on it. As like a piece of broken glass. Yep, and then this one is this one does the same thing. There's a one by two brown plate. Yeah, Zerakino, right. It can be, that's, you don't wanna give away anything. I gave away something to Flynn once without meaning to. I thought he had seen something before and he hadn't. I don't remember that. Yeah, but... I gave away the whole, I was like, oh yeah, he's not really, you know, we know he's not really the guy. <laughs> and you were like, what? And he was dead the whole time. What? Yeah. Bo Bobby said it was all a dream, Flynn. Oh my goodness. So it looks like we're, we are Points missing- to anyone who gets that reference. We right are missing there. a sticker piece. Uh-oh. We are missing a sticker no. piece. No. But you know, whatevs. Oh look, and here is the um here is the missing uh Ooh. This is missing. This is the dark gray. So does anyone know what I meant when I said Bobby said it's all a dream? <laughs> Jeez. It can only be one thing. It has it? to be the one thing, right. Okay, <sighs> so look, we have other broken windows. You just put it yep. in there. Uh oh, technically, so we're just Whoa, missing. This a... whole wall is gonna open up or angle or something. Yes, oh, this is this the is roof. The... We had trouble with the roof of our. Um... Oh yeah, we really had to do some crazy stuff. We we had a um, greenhouse on the outside of our spooky mansion as well, which is on our Instagram. Let's see. Do we have a pin? Yes, there's a yes, pin. Yes, multiple pins here. Why don't I hand you something and I'll feel useful? I can look at what's going on in there. You can. Dallas, of course. Yes, apples. Dallas. Dallas, 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 of course. What? I mean... Oh, Dallas. Is there yeah. anything as big on TV now as Who Shot JR? No. Yeah, there was Who Shot Mr. Burns. That was, pr that was pretty popular. That was... <laughs> it was! It's in the longest, in the longest running series on television ever, right? Is The Simpsons the longest running television series ever? I think so. I, I want to say yes. I don't know. I can't think of any other show that's been on oh, for 30 years. this is years. nicely done. You, will you show this bit of construction here? Oh, the little, how the... Yeah, yeah how so, they did the roof. So here is our, um, I have a Technic brick Mini here. Mini picnic shower scene, you got it. And here is the two, here are the two little dark gray Technic brick with hole. And then there's a, a pin which allows this to move up and down And like then this. it's just masked just right by these um, slopes right here. Yeah. That's so really that's how, clever. That's how and that I works. I always find the hard thing is how do you mask here where it joins? We'll see how they do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what they I mean. They right? have a little fence on here. Often I'll put like a little post down the middle of the roof if I'm doing a, a double slope or a double um, plate roof. Yeah. All right, so check it out. We've got this little greenhouse with the slanted roof. With the with the mullet pumpkin. And now I'm imagining something's gonna go here, and we've got the spooky pumpkins. And okay, we're looking for a couple of oh, cones yeah. to with, top the whole thing off with. With pointers, with little, little yes. teeth on them. Wait, I don't see the teeth. I don't see the teeth either. Somebody, I don't see the other black cone. Okay, so apparently somebody <laughs> didn't maybe check as deeply as they thought they did. Well, those are pretty tiny pieces. They are. So they are little tiny pieces. Look. Oh my goodness, Flynn. I since, know. Since we made our new Lego storage, I was able to walk right over to this bookcase. Let's see if our teeth container. So it will be very easily. And we need a black cone. Okay. You know, I think you know where those are. Here, yeah, right? so here's our little, our little teeth container. And it's like in these little divided drawers. And I need to, some of them are a little more mixed up than I would like, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. There you go. We could do worse than have our Lego teeth combined, right? It's that's true. Not, that's not so bad. And we've, right? we've, we've gotten pretty, you know, we're pretty specific with our stuff, so. It was so fun. If All you right. missed out yesterday, tell them what so they the, missed. Oh, yeah, so if you didn't, if you missed out on the group chat yesterday, it was all about Lego storage, which... I mean, it was a really well, great a show. Thing, right? It was a great show. It was a really, really fun show. Oh my goodness! Now why? I don't see any cones, Flynn. I feel like I missed something along the way. Well, we've been chatting a lot. Yeah. Here, cones. We just need a black cone. Oh, I see. Because the plant 
Remember we were we were like all smart alecky, like just jumping through and going go, oh, jumping yeah, ahead. We actually didn't build our. There's like a little Audrey two plant that goes in here, <laughs> right? What, so for anyone who doesn't know, Audrey two is from what? Little Shop of Horrors, and if you don't know it, you should. And it's an amazing, it was an amazing show. But the and movie surprisingly, is awesome. the movie is incredible. And it's not always like movies that they make of Broadway shows aren't always awesome. What? It's got Rick Moranis, Leslie Ann Warren. It doesn't and have, Steve does not Warren. have Les, Leslie Ann. Oh, Warren. who is it? Who plays that role? It's, it, her name is Ellen Green, Dog and she it. is the one You're who right. uh, originated the role of. Um, of uh, now I can't remember her name, the character's name on Broadway. So she oh, had well, done the role something. many, many times. And Steve, um, Audrey, of course. A, what am I saying? Oh, of course, Audrey too. Audrey, uh, yeah, because that's why he names it after her because he's in love with her. And yes, Rick Moranis. Um, it's a great. It's a really, it's really great. It's Rick Moranis singing it. They all did, I yeah. believe. Yeah. yeah, Steve Martin sang too. Oh, Steve Martin as the dentist. Yeah, um, but he's so talented. Uh, I mean, of course. Uh, uh, can you be a virtuoso with a banjo? He is, right? No one would say that, but he is. He's like super awesome with the banjo. Nobody would say that. Why would? Well, they? do you say? Do you hear? I hear people say you're a virtuoso with the violin. People would just say he's like a badass banjo player. Well, I will say that this is a very difficult instruction to read because okay, it is. Do you it's, want some help? It's oh, brown I'm... on dark brown, <laughs> and oh, then like a bunch of green. Oh, I see. Okay, so. It's a slope, and then you've got a headlight brick pointed towards the two right towards the sides plates. Yeah, yeah. You, I finally caught that. up. Yeah, I finally caught up. And then another headlight brick pointed back that way. Oh no, pointed, pointed that up to way. the sides. Yeah. And then there's a green, uh, one by two green plate here. Wow, look what we can do when we focus. When it's just like Sesame Street around here. All right. So here we've got a uh, we've got a ball joint. One of my favorites. Mixel's ball joints right. rule. Honey, can I ask you a favor? For yeah, what's me? that? Can you get me a glass of water? Because yes. I'm going oh, to about to keel coffee. over. I had the Pete's coffee, and I was like, you know, as usual, panicking, trying to get everything ready for the show. You know, it seems we seem so calm. Do we? <laughs> oh, no. I, yeah, no. Do we seem calm, Flynn? <laughs> oh. Right? So I've now I'm, I'm stacking all these up. I'm stacking up clips and ball joints. I freaking love that people make art and send it to us. I love that he people make art and send it. I know. It to us. It's so good. We can we can name that amongst the cool, the cool art that we've gotten as we've gotten poetry. I love this. Yeah. Um, okay. So we've got this piece here. Oh, look! The post office is calling me. They'll just have oh, to wait. All right. Um, they can oh, call me back now later. I see. We've got four teeth here. Are we actually even building on camera right now? Let's yeah. see. There you are. Okay, so I've got the, I've got this part, and this is gonna hook on to this ball joint. Okay. Oh, and it goes this way. A little chomper. All right. So this is the back of the head, and then these little clips are gonna hold on our um, our mouth pieces. So we've got these curved slopes. I used to always just call them spaceship parts, but all those different sizes of curved slopes are so key to making um, smooth curves in Lego. Well, nice. the nice thing is they were just making two of these. So here's the inside of the the mouth here, and then, oh, look! <laughs> There's the tooth! There is the tooth. Lest we spoke oh, oh, too fast. Wedged in. Okay, can you get it out with that? I, yeah, I think. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Did you get it out? Oh, yeah. it's stuck. It's okay, stuck. Okay, I have a... Here, I have a blade right here. I think here. we're going to have to use a not Lego piece to get it out. I'm going to try a hot dog. This. No, hot dog doesn't work. Hot dog works for lots of things, but apparently not that. <laughs> there we go. Hooray! I got it up. Thank you. Nicely done. And the birds are telling us, oh, that's time for a future feature. Oh, my goodness. You know what? <laughs> Just turn I it off. I always say that. No, I, I made that cue at 11.05 about a month and a half ago, and it is cutest for a feature that doesn't exist. I know. They ever, all know. We all do. Ever since then. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, around Hall Halloween, we'll have to have creature feature, right? Maybe we can do a whole series of Lego creatures. Yeah. All right. So there's our little... Chomp, chomp. All right. 
And then and he gets these little tentacles. Yes, and he gets little grabby, grabby hands. Very, of course, um, Audrey Two inspired. <laughs> Did you just? That's like a Depeche Mode reference there. Grabbing hands. Grabbing All right, so hands. there's him. And then I think the yeah. So the next thing we're gonna build is the little motorcycle thing, but we will build that off camera. Oh, okay. So are we gonna go back to the um, back to the mansion? Yeah, I think we're gonna go back to the mansion now okay. that we have our. Um, our little Audrey 2 plant made. Wow, um, I love this camera setting so much better. Look at how much more contrast there is. So check it out. We've got, uh, now we're going all the way to the end of book two. And, when, oh, and it goes, she actually goes, so it goes inside. That's where we built this with the little tiles around it. And that's going to go, wow, that's not, there we go. And it goes Easy in there. Easy to fix. Look so and then from the outside, that's what you see. Well, how cool. So this is the mansion we're going to light? Yes. How cool is that going to look with light in there? All right. So there is, um, that's, that is book one. Yeah, it's a really, you know, it's funny. I was sort of, in a way, not expecting a whole lot out of this set. Oh, really? And I'm already really, um, did you just I'm already really like excited. No, simple, you know I thought what? it would be a simpler house without as much detail. You know what? I think it's a. I think honestly, it's one of those. It's one of those sour grapes things where I was like, <laughs> I knew I, I don't need no yeah. stupid Scooby Doo mansion. <laughs> I don't need no mansion. <laughs> dumb anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, look at us. We're gonna need more bowls. We're gonna need more bowls, and we're also gonna need the. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Booklet. We are definitely gonna need a bigger boat. Um, I um, thought I brought both of the instruction booklets all over three here. of them. Yeah, here they are. and then we the chair. put them aside. So let's take, start taking a look at what we've got here, as far as like interesting. Pe oh no, really? Oh good. Whoo! So what the, happened there? Well, no, I just noticed it's like a calendar. Like it's the it's this way, but oh, then yeah. um, it actually is right side. Oh, sorry. There you go. Yes, wow, mini figs. Okay. So we have um, and Velma. And Velma. Velma's making her big appearance. And I'm going to do this because people are asking to see the yeah the minifigs. So let's have the minifigs out while we're separating all okay. of our pieces. So there's that. Well, Velma is the... Er, so Velma is the proto-Marcy. <laughs> That's true. Just look. This is our superstar character. This is the our first big star from any piece we did other uh, than oh everyone this is not looking oh. good no what's wrong are we missing I part don't, of velma i don't see any of velma here that would not be awesome i don't see any what well, is there another velma. bag maybe maybe she just got misbagged let's let's hope that she got misbagged because there's i would be i would be so sad there she is. look there's there's her glasses Okay, good, good. We have uh, we have a head. <laughs> yeah, we have it. She is she is in fact in this uh, partially anyway in this third bag. Wow, that was a close one. I see her smiley face. You know so what? This is a good thing. If this was Lego Masters, they would have a gone to commercial break right then. <laughs> It's B, true. they would have had all 13 cameras pointed at all different aspects <laughs> of, like, Flynn looking off to the side, like, oh, my God, uh, yes, we're I'm missing. <laughs> Eric says you found Velma's glasses. She will be grateful. <laughs> it's true. My glasses. I okay, can't find my glasses. I'm going to try and dig the rest of her out of here, and I will be right back because I have okay. to kind of do it over here. Meanwhile, we're going to have, here, we're going to have Marcy. She's the... Is she standing in? Yeah, Velma is the proto Marcy. Marcy. Or is Marcy the proto Velma? Ma Marcy's not having it, by the way. <laughs> she was from our piece, California Dreamin', and she was standing at the photo op right, where Velma. you were supposed to have your photo taken with the shark, the guy in the shark costume, and she was not happy about having her photo taken. Oh, whoa, the post office is really trying to reach you, Flynn. Yeah, well. There we go. I'll be back later. So Marcy's a little, you know, she's the stand-in there. Meanwhile, I'm gonna start separating out all these purple pieces. We've got bowls I'm close. for all I this need stuff. Legs. Uh oh, just legs missing. Got it. And look at this. In the meanwhile, we've got a cabinet front with goo and like a roach on it. Look that would go at this. Here she is, y'all. Only okay. one appearance. Okay. Bye, Marcy. Bye, Marcy. Only one appearance in the set. It is, in fact, 
Velma with this awesome hairpiece. There she is. Woohoo! Look at that. In, in, her, <laughs> in her sweater. She's got it all. Now, is she wearing a skirt? No. Is that a skirt? <sighs> no, it's a are skirt. They, are they gauchos? And then, hey, let's go ahead because... And pull them out of the min the mystery machine, but there's Fred. Yay! So there's our whole Scooby gang: Fred, Daphne, Shaggy, and Velma. This is the this is a first for this Tricky is a Bricks. first for Tricky Bricks. We've I'm never had so them excited all right now. It's you know, the whole gang. It is the whole gang. This is so cool. Ah, okay, all is right with the world for a second, for now, right here. In, okay, in and now room. they're tumbled into a takeout container in front That's of right. the mystery machine. Sorry. Right. Yeah, those are awesome figs. I am super psyched for those. Okay, so all the parts that we need are over here. Okay, good. That's the way I planned it right I there. Know. Job security, DeMarco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I do not want to talk about job security right now. Um, okay, so we're looking for a sort of a long brown plate that looks like it's four by maybe twelve or eight. Four by twelve. Well, you just took all of the big um, ones. Um, nope. These are these are Sorry, all. Sorry, pal. That's all we got. The wrong size. Um. All right. I guess we're gonna have to go hunting. Yeah. Will you see what size that is? Um. Yeah. It looks like a two, four, six, eight, ten. Four by ten. Four by ten. Well, you know, it may well be in the other box. In the other bag? In the other bag. Well, I could look in the other bag. Where is it? Is. Well, here's one of them anyway, and we can always get another one later. Oh, we're using the blanket method in there. There's a blanket laid out on the carpet with all the bricks so you can see them. It's actually a towel. High but... tech. Oh. <laughs> Constantly evolving technology around here. Okay, so we need a big Technic, uh, uh, a, a light gray Technic, or dark gray Technic piece. Okay. Um, can you be more specific? Yes, it's right there. Oh, there. It's actually closer One, to you two, than it is three, to me. One, two, three, four, five hole Technic beam. We don't have that either? No, I think maybe the bags got jumbled. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think you're right. All right, Corey. Excellent. Very good. Thank you for joining us. Look at that. Ah ha ha. All right. Here we go. And then a one by three. And one by three. And a bench bracket thing. I don't see the bench bracket thing. Should we bring that other bag over I here? I think we're going to have to, because I think there's definitely a point at which the bags got mixed well, up. Well, I'm getting my steps in. Oh, check it out. We have another one, too. We have a ghost. We have one of those awesome glow-in-the-dark ghosts, right? It was the janitor, Old Man Jenkins, this entire time. It was true. He I did. Old Man, Old Man Jenkins stole the mystery pieces. Ugh, the so worst. Is it a dark gray bracket? It is a dark gray bench. Okay, I've got it. A one by four. I wonder if we're going to just keep having I'm to run over there. I'm just going to get my steps in. I should, we should find your eye watch, and I could have it. Another, another one. one. It's over there. Just one. bring all that over here. Oh. I think it's a, so clearly they've gotten these mixed up, but that's all right. We are gonna, we will persevere. Oh, here I found the ghost's head. So the ghost comes with an all black head. And oh, yeah, we're inspiring you to watch Scooby Doo episodes. Awesome. We, we, I used to watch it when I was a kid. I was obsessed. It was my favorite show. Oh, Scooby Doo? Oh, yeah, like hands down. down. Hands down, those. my favorite show. Like, I was always so excited whenever it was going to come on. Palisades Bricks. And another long. Another, okay, I'm just going to be over here. Wait, I thought, just bring it over. Oh, you know where to put it. it doesn't matter. All right. <laughs> Here, we're making a burrito. Um, yeah, there is some wonky window panes. They're they're cute little stickers. And again, they're hey, kind everyone. of everyone. Okay, we'll beware here. No. Uh no. Okay, I'm gonna separate all that. And that that is how you Three remain. Three and a half months. That's how you remain friends Three and during a half lockdown. Months. Right there. See, that's love. Right there. The fact that he remained calm on worldwide television. Okay, um, so just give me a minute to separate these things. I really didn't know where they should go, but you want this, right? Yeah.
<laughs> we have fun on the Tricky Bricks building chat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You should see us organizing <laughs> together. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna okay, I'm attempt gonna... to keep moving along here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some more bowls, I think. You think? Yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> Wait, but I had a whole stack of them. Okay, so here is that. Here, we're gonna do the emergency color method. All brown goes in one thing. Okay, so I've got here. I've got the little the bottom floor, and I think this is sort of like the the center area that we're building right now. And we've got some these. These will be decorative bricks. Are you doing all right there? A travesty against cinema. What? What's going on? Um, it's Scooby Doo Disney. It's not Disney. It's Hanna Barbera, actually. Um, oh, we have a rat too. And let's see the. Let's see. All right. There we go. I, you know, I'm one of those who pushed back, and it's just a generational thing. But I pushed back on the three Dification of all the Hanna Barbera and um, Warner Brothers cartoons. Well, because I, I grew up with them looking one way, and then they look the other way. But I get it. You know, a whole new generation or. Too, since well, then. no, I just don't. I just don't understand why why somebody can't, you know, just. I don't know why people can't just leave it be. Like you know, you know what? It's not just kids. It doesn't have to be in three D. Everything doesn't have to be in three D. Like it's okay. People can enjoy other things that are not three dimensional. Well, here's my take, and it's kind of a grouchy grandpa take: is uh -oh. come up with a new character. Yes. Where is the... But I, I get it. I want whole new generations to be able to enjoy Mickey Mouse and, you know, and Scooby-Doo and all that. What? I can find you bricks. Um, it's my superpower. I'm looking for a 2x4 dark gray plate and a 1x4 dark gray plate and then the same thing again. Okay. So basically what I'm doing is we're making the, we're making the steps here. All right, full episodes. Yeah, and you know, the the older ones are really the best, like the early ones. And of course, then, if you aren't well-versed in, like, 1970s culture, you may not remember some Well, of like, them. if they have Don Knotts on. Yeah, they had Don Knotts. There was a whole time, there was a point Sandy at Duncan which... Duncan Yeah, there was on. a point at which they went through and had started having guest stars. Batman and Robin, Mama Cass, Sandy Duncan. Well, Mama Cass was awesome. Yeah, she was pretty amazing. Okay, what am I finding for she you? Had a Candy Factory, of course. Uh, one by four, uh, dark gray plate. Oh my goodness. We do have a lot of bricks out here. I like some things second and some things more of third. I feel like Scooby-Doo should be 2D. Oh, I said second. 2D. I agree. I agree. Um. <laughs> okay, um, still... I'm not finding this plate. Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, I have a lot of stuff out. I mean, Here, I found it. Thank you. All right, so... Just we... getting all the decorative things out. Oh, we've got some kind of creepy butler guy. We've got pins. That's probably Old Man Jenkins, I'm going to guess. There we go. The No, that's Dracula. Dracula is in this as yeah, well? Yeah, so there is a Dracula minifigure. He doesn't come until the next bag, but just... So here's his face. And he has a very sort of troubling, like, Professor Quirrell-like face on the back. <laughs> so that's the, that is the Dracula figure. All right. Yeah, sorry for the introduction of chaos there. I didn't really know where to put stuff. I just want to tell you, as much, much trouble as I get in about the chaos. About chaos? Oh, my goodness, it's true. Oh, look at this. So... We have amazing custom-made plates. I think Dan Keyes made yes. some custom ones, right? Yes. And I'm so surprised to see here's a printed wood plank in the Scooby-Doo set. Is it printed? Yeah. Or is it a sticker? Oh, it's, it's a, a sticker. It's a poorly applied sticker. It's a clear, sticker. poorly applied sticker. 
<laughs> no judgment. And we should know. No, ju no judgment. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm looking for a third one of these little angles. Here, pieces. I could probably even sit. Why don't I sit down and do all this? All right, so I've got, and look at this piece. This is so cool, right? Okay, and we're looking for more of those um, one by six um, Technic themes, like this one. We need three more of them. Three more one by six Technic themes here. Yep. Look, they're all separated out. Awesome. So I'm gonna make these little angled bits. I, these are actually really great pieces. For the longest time, I just didn't know how to use them properly. And they really are great for creating angles off of this main building, which is a very popular Lego-y thing to do. So we've got these pins sticking out here. And then, is that right? Yes. And then it attaches here and here. Wait, yes, here and here. I keep, All right. I can't get this out of my head today. Oh, that's right. Kind of looks like a it. land speeder with wings <laughs> at the moment. I just had to double check a thing because I got it in my head today that I could put a Technic pin inside the bottom of a cone, but you can't. But what you can put in there is an axle, right? A cone fits on an axle. I think that is true, it yes, because there's a plus-shaped yep. hole in it, as I tell my kids, a plus-shaped hole. Or an X-shaped hole. They always, it never fails. I'm like, a plus-shaped hole. And they're like, or an X. Yes, And if you or say an it X. the other way. And if I say it the other way, they will call it the other way. Oh, kids. <laughs> Ooh, more drum lacquered gold. Ooh, wow, aren't you fancy? No With my word. terms, I did. I learned a thing on the internet. <laughs> I certainly did. Okay, it looks like this goes here, and now I'm looking for a couple of tiles. What color? Uh, brown. I found one, and here's the other one. Two by two brown tiles. Like that. See, it is. It's a land speeder. <laughs> All right, hey, films. Thanks. Actually, we are not here much longer, so just letting you know. Yeah. Um, we're pretty much, we're 12, almost 11, done 30, for right? today. Yeah, probably about 10 more minutes. Uh, well, we continue trying to get this stuff Well, the nice, nice thing about this is once I sort this, then we should be good for the rest of the build. Yep. Thanks for bearing with me there, <laughs> pal. Mm. <laughs> oh, so there's a gold key around. Oh, I saw that. And there's also a map. Here's the key. Which is cool. And this actually goes with, with Velma. And it's supposed to be... Oh, and then there's like a little clip. Oh, there's a compartment. There's a little compartment in here. Yeah, there's a picture of her finding the key in the secret compartment. Yeah, so we'll just put that down there for now. But there but there you go. The mystery machine also has a sandwich. It's true, it does. It's got like a, a hamburger uh, uh, that comes with it. All right, I think we are we have done this step. And now we're going to add in... Some more brick bricks. Brick bricks. Kind of where you have a lot of these Technic brick with hole. Oh, so I see. We're making some. We're making some columns here. So looking for another brick brick here, and then we're looking Here's for some, some large two by two, and it looks like they're three bricks tall, maybe. Uh, sort of column pieces that are right here. Okay. Yeah, we've got these right here. Just, oh, those things. Okay. So there you go. These. And golly, it's now it's asking for two by two bricks. And we're gonna look it for some Palisades bricks. Oh my goodness. Okay, so usually um, on the build and chat, it's pretty organized on the table. This is more what it looks like when we build big. You know, we're just like, we when we did California Dream and it was on a ping pong table basically right and the yes. whole perimeter of it was always filled with the bricks we were building with so i'm looking for a one by one um and i think this might be the missing piece that they were talking about what's that um the technic brick with hole the one by one technic brick with hole that is in dark gray okay should i just go to our collection for that right that away? would probably be best i think oh another purple door this is exciting i love these purple doors that's just so cool Oh, fortunately, we have all of our 1x1 and 1x2 Technic Brick with holes. 
in the same place, in right? In the same place. Excellent. And we don't have any in that color. Of course we don't, because that would be too easy. No, see, look at this. Isn't this the way with Lego? Nothing ripping on Lego here, but look, you would think that's a lot of bricks, right? And then you get through all of them, and you get all the way over here, and that's what we have in the one-by-ones, and there's not one dark gray. All right, fine. It's light gray now. Actually, give me a second light gray, and we'll make a match. Just in case? Okay. But isn't that just the way you think you have a lot of bricks, but you, you never, never have, the, have enough. You never have the brick you need. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Like, you can have a million bricks, and you will not have that one thing that, that you one. need. Although it may Oh, be. is it on the screen? Somebody is saying it's there on the screen. I don't see is it. Is it, right? Okay. We've got some... This is oh, the one... Oh, my I... goodness. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. After all that. <laughs> right there. See, you can actually see it closer than we can. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, well, you see, well, okay, now we I have an extra. I take it back. Look at that. That whole rant. We spent like a three-hour rant there on how you never have the right bricks. Yeah. And it was right there. But it's true. You don't, um, you don't you, often don't have all the right bricks that you need. It's easy to not have the one you just dreamed oh, of. Oh, look at that. We need, we need two more now. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm gonna do a search here because maybe someone saw something I didn't or it was turned sideways. Oh my goodness. I found two light gray ones. I haven't seen Oh look, I found another one. Ooh It's a hunt. It is a hunt. I end up oh look at this everybody. We were talking about the hamburger. This one also has a hamburger. Check out that cool piece. Right? Right? Okay. Hamburger bun. Well, I think we met our match you there did on, help. The, on the third one. Well, now they did say that it was missing. Yep. So, so we now know we for have... sure. And they did say it was from bag two. So, so yeah, just I'm just going to replace gray. with the light gray. And this is the one that I pulled off, so don't be confused. Look at that one. You could probably get three TV commercials about that. Will they ever find the right brick? Probably not. Never. So check this out. We're going to do some kind of crazy business here oh i see oh it's kooky it's kooky so really it doesn't matter um now what i am seeing here is what matters more is that these is that these inner ones are the light right gray. color or we can change these inner ones out to be light gray because you won't see them uh, whereas these front ones, you will They're see the color. Capitals, right? Yeah. So I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to ruin anything there. So nice. Come back on screen. A yeah. Well, yeah. Bit. Sorry about that. I just swapped these so that you can see. <laughs> oh There's our how-to moment for the day. Yeah. How to screw everything up. There we go. And here. Ugh. All right. So yeah, and and the you, you can see that we have these little cheese wedges down here that keep these from closing all the way. So they have um, like a kooky, like a kooky look. Little cabinet of Dr. Caligari nest. And then you, there's also a, a tile that goes down here at the bottom that makes it look a little like a little more a little more wonky, or it looks like it finishes it off a little bit, right? So it's not mm -hmm. floating above the ground. So that's here. pretty cool. What More was that? Extra bricks, oh. palisades. So bricks. I'm looking for the little. Oh, look! It's a magnifying glass. Oh, no frying pan for this set. No, it's true. Okay, so I'm looking for these little brackets. They're sort of like snot overhangs, but they are only one wide, and they have a hole in the top for it to fit over a stud. That's a good description, like like a minifig backpack almost. It's, it's, yes, like a minifig backpack. Exactly. Um, um, there we go. I don't see any of those. They're not in these other bins because they're these have been curated. You sure about that? Well, these other bins, I think so. There. And see, we do have some. Well, are got they a over there? Skull. I don't see any. We've got these here. containers too. Uh oh. No, these are just the um, the mini figs. We'll find it eventually. We always do. Yeah, and that would be one that I wouldn't know where to go in our collection, would you? Um, not overhang? A little bit, but honestly, it doesn't look like we need them that bad right Good, now. They're just decorative. I yeah, I don't see it. But we do need two big panels. Two big gray panels. Right over there. Awesome. So one's going to go here. 
You can see those little decorative things are always things you can add in later if you need to. Crooked yet system technics there. Yeah, technics. And we're looking for another dark gray one by one tile. So possible. much cool stuff comes from technics. Wow, there, this is. I have a light gray one. We're is going right? through. Oh, look, there's a key. Yeah. Oh. We have a keyhole tile. I want to put that on a dots bracelet. How about some one by two? Are we doing one by two? Um, let's see what they want here. But here, I'll look at the instructions too. Oh, black. So I need another one by two black plate. One by two Actually, black plate. And and another one on and another one. And another one. There you go. Here. I'm just gonna repeat everything you say. Here. Okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's great. I love that. <laughs> All right, one by two. Here's one. Yeah, I don't see one of those little brackets there. It's okay. Let's just move on. We can. Oh, I think we can this, keep though? going. That's from the last part of the model. Yeah, I don't see any. Okay, and now we're looking for a bunch of one by four brown plates. One by four brown plates. I've got one here. There's two more. Awesome. Let's go back on screen again. Oh. We're okay. doing this here. Yeah, the the the, the oh, system. Oh, is that a six? That's, the system techniques are really cool. I'm I really like it. I don't see any more here. It's all decoys. Uh, There's tiles, but not plates. Okay, you know what? I think it's about time that we wrapped it up. Why for do you today. think we're missing some pieces? Well, maybe, but this is just too confusing. I well, think look. it's time for. And also, it's it's eleven thirty, and golly, I've got. Okay. Um, I've got a cla two classes to teach today. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, two classes. Yeah, well this isn't this will only take a little bit more sorting to get uh, this mess cleaned up here. Um, but we got the greenhouse done and a good start on the doorway. Yes, yeah, so we've got our doorway right? here. You can see, and then I'm imagining our uh, greenhouse is probably gonna attach onto Oh, right I see here one of here. those technic bricks, right? Yeah, exactly. Cool. All right, we said... Everyone, that was an all-over-the-place stream today, right? We got to share some cool viewer mail. Yep. Had some Lego news, stickers. Um, remember to make your... Um, to make your... Whoa. Challenge piece. Uh-oh, Flynn just Check saw out. something Look, really I cool. just found this. The cover of the coffin is like a statue. Like with He's got his like, like bat wings closed. Yes. Yeah, so we will do, um, what we're going to do is we're not here tomorrow, so we will get a little bit of this done tomorrow and then try and wrap it up on Wednesday. Yeah, we can do or that. Or maybe Thursday, depending. Uh, but it looks like we should be able to get this done It'll be Wednesday. this week for sure. Uh, so, thanks everybody so much for joining us. As a reminder, don't forget that, we, uh, that this week's challenge is to rebuild the, uh, sweep, the LEGO sweep, Street Sweeper set. Okay, you have a copy of this and then you build it using only the pieces in the set. You don't have to use all the pieces and you can have a base plate or, or mini figures. Your own or mini both. figures. All right, you can have, or yeah, or both, obviously. Yep. And then, you know, sky's the limit. Yes, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Sized within, what is it, 86 bricks or something? And, How don't, many are there? For, and don't forget that you will email me your entries, flynn at trickybricks.com. That's and me. 89 bricks to choose from. There. 89 bricks. All right, there you go. And then we, oh, um, you can also find us on uh, at on at snail mail at PO Box one one five one seven Oakland he, California oh nine four six one one. What? I just completely lost track there. I couldn't find my glasses. You always get the P.O. box said before I get my, like, rush in there with 1-1. One, one. You know where to find us. We went to the P.O. box today and saw awesome stuff there. Yes, Lucas. Richard is totally channel channeling Velma right now. Am I my glasses? I can't find my glasses. Well, we've got this giant book thing here. It's funny. I made them go away. It is funny. Oh, there they are. Look. They were hiding underneath a blue pirate mask for some reason. <laughs> See, we started off kooky and it went from there. Um, all right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we had a really fun time today, and we will get this sorted out, and we will have more things to show you about this on Wednesday. Show the this big, was um, show the big down cam. Oh my goodness! So this is the this is the chaos that was wrought by a certain Look at someone that. See just what happens. dumping everything onto See what the happens. table. But at the same time, I actually was doing something useful, and we've got you know, 
There's some organization here. Monday stream. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad you all joined us. This was so fun. Yeah, thank you so much. And don't forget, everybody, we will, we're not here tomorrow, but we will be here Wednesday. Yep. Um, and we will... Wait a minute, what am I doing here? Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, yes, we will be back here on Wednesday at 10 a.m. to keep on uh, keep working on the... To keep on building. <laughs> to keep on building, um, which, which you <laughs> should do as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, so don't forget to um, stay safe. Stay healthy, wash, wash your, your hands, hands, wear your mask, wear your mask, wear your mask, wear your mask. Yeah, that's and, a good thing. And you know what? What's if you that? get bummed out, build something with bricks. Exactly. Right? Build things. Build, build more things. Have fun. Be creative. Be, uh, be artists. Yep. And then share with other people. Absolutely. All right. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Uh,